plants, one waters. He said, now I'll give the increase. One plants, one waters, and I'll give the increase. If Marcus is out here planting and planting and planting and planting, and there's nobody coming behind him and watering and watering. How well does a garden do without water, Harold? Not very good. Ain't a whole lot of stuff grows without water. There's not a whole lot of stuff that grows. I can tell you right now that I would like to grow things, but if I never go outside and I never till the ground, amen, and after even if I went outside, Brother Bill, and I tilled the ground, if I never went back out there and put a seed in the ground, what, was it, what good is it going to do? Nothing's ever going to grow. Same thing in our life. As long as all we ever do is come to church, sit in a pew, get in a car, go back home, come to the church, sit in a pew, get in a car, go back home, and never say anything about God, never stand up for Jesus. I seen a politician last night that stood up in front of, a, a, I don't know how many people that were watching on television, how many people were in there, and he proclaimed his faith in Christ. Amen. How many of us could do that? In front of multiplied millions of people. And he's a politician. And there are people in the church that can't even do that with close friends. There are people in the church, Brother Marcus, that can't even do that with family members. That can't even proclaim Christ in front of their family. Because, well, they'll make fun. Bless God, let them make fun of you. They made fun of Jesus. You don't think they're going to, they're, they're, you don't think they're going to make fun of you. You should expect it. But know that if they make fun of you, then you're on the right track. You're doing the right thing. You're on your way. To put in your actions with your words, you're not just saying that I'm a Christian, but you're showing people by your love, and you're showing people by giving. You're showing people uh, by your actions how you're living your life by an example. Jesus even said in 1 Peter 21, or 2 and 21, he said, For even hereunto were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow His steps. He's not mad at us. <laughs> He's not mad at you. He's not mad at me. Because you have to remember, I have to deal with this before you ever have to deal with it. And so when he begins to, and he's been talking to me for two weeks about actions speak louder than words. Be an example. Because I can tell you, I, yeah, I, I've probably not prayed for my family like I should. I've probably not prayed for my children like I should be. I've probably not spent the time with God that I need to. I spend time with Him, but I could give Him more. Actions speak louder than words. When the going gets tough, the tough get going. I suggest the church gets going because it's not going to get any easier. It's going to get tougher. It's going to get harder. It's going to get hotter. It's going to get deeper before it ever gets shallower, before it ever gets easier. Because we live in a fallen world. Don't forget that. We live in a fallen world. There is a plan that was set forth from the foundation of the world what would happen? What would take place? God has a plan. You and I are part of that plan. We have to start putting actions with our words, not just talking a good game, but walking a good game. Being an example to our children, being an example to our family. Hey, I know it's rough to come to church on Wednesday night, but people are watching. I know it's tough to come to church on Sunday morning, Sunday night, but people are watching. People are watching all the time. And you're the example. I'm not saying that coming to church gets you to heaven. But, it's a great testimony. It's a great testimony. When, when I have people that, that, that I deal with on a daily basis... And they can look at me and go, well, what day can you do it? I know you can't do it on Wednesday because you've got church. That stokes me to the bone. Amen. That, that fires me up more than anything, Bill, that they could ever say is that, can we schedule around you going to church? Yes, you absolutely can. 
schedule around me going to church. Because that's the only way that it's going to be in my life. Because I'm an example and people are watching. If I were to say, oh, well, don't worry about that. Church is just, I, I can make it Wednesday or I can make it Sunday morning. I'll be there. Don't worry about it. What do we need to do on Wednesday? We give ourselves a way out. Because you know why? Because we've got a lot of big words and we have zero actions. Actions speak louder than words. I can tell somebody that I love them all day long. If you're in need and, and you're needing uh, financial help and I've got an extra hundred dollars and I know that you're in need and I come up and say, Brother Bill, I know you're in need. I'm really praying for you. Hey, come on. Hey, man, you got to give. That, that, that's, how, that's how it works. That, that's how it works. That's your, that's your actions. But if I walk up and say, Brother Bill, I want to bless you. And I hand him a hundred bucks. And I turn and walk off. He knows I love him. There's not a doubt in his mind. Not because I give him, because I helped him out. I, I'm, I'm speaking. And it doesn't matter if I ever get anything back. I don't want nothing back in return. Don't worry about it if you're going to get something back. Listen, I'm laying up treasures in heaven. Amen. I'm not laying treasures up down here. That $100 don't mean nothing to me. But when I put actions with my words, because there have been so many people that come up and say, Oh, I love you. And just, you know, and two minutes later you're going, Does this belong to you? Right? Boy. Boy, I, 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 mean, I, I mean, I know the devil. Come on. I know the devil. I know how he is. I know how he acts. I, I know his little tricks, his little games. Oh, I just love you to death. Oh, bless your heart. I'm just so glad we get to spend time. That's how the devil works. If I tell you that I love you, I want you to know that I love you without a doubt. Not, not only because I tell you, because every time you, I see you, I'm, I'm going to be shaking your hand, I'm going to be hugging you, I'm going to be greeting you, I'm going to be saying something to you, I'm not going to pass you by. You're going to know that I love you. Amen? Actions speak louder than words. We have to put actions... With our words. For even hereunto were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps. Follow Jesus. Don't follow me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss it. Don't follow Marcus, he's gonna miss it. Don't follow Bill, he's gonna miss it from time to time. But follow Jesus. He who knew no sin, but became sin for us. He who knew no sin, but became sin for us. Follow Jesus. Don't just say it. Do it. Don't be just hearers of the word, but be doers also. Don't just be hearers of the word, but be doers also. Follow Jesus' example. Peter, I, I think about him, Brother Marcus, and he, he had a lot of good, he had a lot of good, good, good words. He, he stood there, I, I'll, I'll paraphrase, I, you know, and Jesus told him he was going to die. Oh God, Lord, I'd follow you to the end. He said, I'll die with you. I, I'll go all the way. He said, Peter... He said, before the cock crows three times, he said, you'll deny me. If you know that story, Peter was found warming himself by the fire, and a woman walks up and says, hey, were you not with... No, I ain't got no idea who he is. Mm-mm. No. Jesus, uh-uh. There's a lot of people that go to church. Hey, you go to that new beginning? What? No, no, new beginning? No, I do. I, that little hole in the wall down there? No, I ain't got no. What are you talking about? I know there's been people that said that. 
They said, well, it don't even look like a church. It ain't even got a steeple. I said, well, the church ain't got no steeple on it anyway. The church is in here. We're the church. You know, you know. Well, uh, well oh, y'all are that church right past? Nope, we're that brick building right between there. Oh. You interested? Stop on in sometime. You'd be surprised uh, where that, that little hole in the wall down there. You go, no, no, no. Where you go to church? Well, I, I really don't go anywhere. I, I don't know. I don't go anywhere. In between churches. Jesus said to follow him. He's our example. If you ever have a question, see what Jesus did. Jesus always gave. He was always a servant. He was always trying to help somebody. He was always trying to do something. So that his father would be glorified. Not that he would be glorified, but that his father would be glorified. That God would be glorified. Follow Jesus. He's our example. Let's put action with our words. Let's put some actions with our words. Let's don't just be hearers only. But let's be doers also of the word. If you would stand tonight, amen. I'm not going to keep you all night. I'm, uh, God has brought His Word tonight, amen. I praise the Lord tonight for His Word. Amen. Jamie and Christian, get a song. I know they're. I know I'm one of those people that you know. I have to put actions with my words. Actions with my words. I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to give. I'm going to sow into the kingdom. Thanks for joining with us for the broadcast from New Beginning Worship Center in Greenback, Tennessee. We are located at 6501 Highway 411 South in Greenback, Tennessee, zip code 37742. Emails may be addressed to nbwcmailbox at gmail.com. Pastor Marcus Severance and the congregation invite you to join with us Sundays at 10 a.m. for teaching, followed by worship services at 11 a.m. and 6 p.m. We also meet midweek at 7 p.m. on Wednesdays. We're located on Highway 411 in Greenback, Tennessee, just three buildings down from the intersection of Highway 95. If you can't meet with us in person, please join us again next time for our broadcast.